team, like, I don't know, I'm actually mad. I'm mad I missed those many free throws because it's something I've been working on, like, all summer, man. And I don't know, I just got out there and got a bit too hard. But if, if that's my biggest concern right now, I'm happy. When he told you that you were going to start, what were your thoughts and what were your priorities? Uh, well, just not to do too much and do what I do best. You know, it's go out there. He told me really to try to blend in. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> what I do every day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, he, he told me to go out there and just try to make sure I blend in. You know, don't, don't try to do too much. I don't know the case, you know, but it's my first career. It's not another man in the league, so, you know, I was a little nervous, but it went away. When did you find out? This morning? The shoot around? Or when did you find out you were going to start? Yeah, Coach told us this morning. Seemed like that first stretch, first shift you had, you were a little slow to get started. Do you feel yeah, like yeah, you yeah. kind of found your rhythm? No, I was. I definitely was a little slow to get started. Like I said, I just wanted to fill things out. And then once I went back in there the second time, I was going What's uh, it mean to you that your teammates are so supportive of you? And like, you know, especially in that game, you can see the whole bench every time you did something, they were jumping up. Um, you know, you guys are not doing it, you know, before practices or you know, after practices. And, the staff when I come back in at night, they are. So I mean, they know how much I, I want success in the league. So you know, I, I feel that that's, that carries over to why they support so much. You wanted the minutes. You got the minutes. You feel you showed up. Uh, everybody wanted you deserve the minutes. I played okay. I played okay. I checked off 20 and 60 games. I played okay. You said what did yesterday you think? that you didn't want to get too excited about the possibility of playing. How do you sort of, now that you've got the minutes and sort of had that started first NBA game, how do you take your expectations Well, now my only thing is, as I said, I'm not really 100% happy with that game. So. I know I messed up a few assignments. Um, had a young guy scoring me a couple times early, so I'm not completely happy with that game. So I expect more of myself. What did you think of the standing ovation you got towards the end of the game? I love it. Man. I love these fans. Yeah, I love it here in Rip City. So, um, you know, they, for some reason, they just got attached to me ever since last year. You know, I love doing things to make me look crazy. What were you most pleased with tonight, the way you played? Uh, yeah, I played, you know, I was effective without having the ball. I did what I do best. I was effective without having the basketball in my hand. So um, I did that. I blended right in. Like I said, there's still some things that I didn't do, you know, right, man. So I got to go back home and make sure I clean those up so that it won't, you know, put worries on Coach Brown. Is it from the free throw line? No. See, if the, if the free throws is my worst concern, man, then they got a bright future. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I mean, it's more principal stuff. You know, I, I messed up a couple of things because you know those guys are so used to doing it and quick hitch with it. And mine is probably a little slower than you know usually. But like I said, man, go home and I, I see what I messed up on, and I come back and I'll be better.